Hi fellow dog fanciers, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to talk about the dramatic personality of the Whippet. Many people who have shown interest in the breed or people who have very laid-back, happy-go-lucky dogs like a Golden Retriever for example have asked me so many times Dramatic, what do you mean? So in this video I will explain exactly what I mean. They can overreact about many things, after all they have their own characters and their own individual. We've had 9 whippets total and we currently have 7 at home, so I will give you some examples, let's get into the video. In my experience and opinion, the breed group of sighthounds has some of the most dramatic dogs and I've been to so many shows and I can tell you if you hear a dog or see a dog throwing a tantrum in the ring for seriously no reason, 9 out of 10 times this will be a representative of the sighthound group. Other than my experience with whippets when I was working with uh, Irish wolfhounds and Scottish deerhounds, I would go about my day, mind my own business, cleaning kennels and all of a sudden I would turn around and there will be a deerhound at my feet and to not fall on or step on the dog I will make those crazy moves and as a response to my weird behavior the dog will scream like I broke its leg, while in reality I almost lost my own life trying not to step on it. If you don't know the dogs, you might assume that at some point in their lifetime they have been abused or something, but I can promise you they have never been mistreated, they just deserve an Oscar. The funny thing is that uh, these dogs original purpose was to hunt large game, which is no joke, and when they hunt or chase after something they are very serious about it, so according to what I've seen it's a very selective behavior. Luckily whippets aren't so extra, but they still overreact. And as we've discussed many times on this channel, these are very sensitive dogs that can create a picture in their own mind without a warning that normal day-to-day -day things are all of a sudden uh, upsetting to them. And so, when you least expect, they can show you what great actors they can be. The Whippet is the kind of dog that we want to spoil and love and hug all the time because they are so needy and they look so fragile and when they add a little bit extra of that dramatic spice we want to give them even more of that love. Also, at least once a day they will have this look on their faces which makes you ask yourself or ask them what offended you now. With seven whippets at home, I will give you some classic examples of their traumatic personalities. Some of those examples will be shown in the video, others won't be, just because I will never do something that upsets my dogs on purpose or just to film it or uh, some examples I just could not managed to film because they didn't show those behaviors recently, so you will have to use your imagination. Let's start with Lacey, she's 11 years old and all she cares about is a bed, a blanket and food. And that's Lacey, by the way, for those of you who are new to the channel. She generally stays away from drama and this is why she most of the time isn't around the rest of the pack because they're loud and very energetic and she's not a great fan of that. But uh, the most offensive thing you can do to Lacey is to forget to cover her with a blanket. When you commit this crime, usually she cries out loud. If she's feeling a little extra that day, she will come to you and will poke you with a leg. But the most 
genius method she applies is to start shaking the moment you look at her so that you can see how freezing cold she is even though it's summer but how can you leave a poor whippet freezing right so when you look away she will stop shaking and when you look back at her she will start shaking to remind you that she needs her blanket and she will do that until you finally cover her with a blanket obviously she doesn't have to do that uh, at the moment because whenever we see Lacey without a blanket we will go and give her one because it's such a sin to let Lacey be cold even when she's actually not Lacey is a master of manipulation with 11 years of experience. She eats four to five times a day and sometimes she will not eat her food so that we can grab a spoon and feed her with it because I suppose that's uh, just because the food tastes better, I don't know. She also has breakfast in bed and she prefers her food bowl to be uh, placed on her left side, never on her right. I don't know why, but after all she's an older lady and she gets what she wants because she deserves it. So on the scale from 1 to drama, I would say that Lacey is somewhere around 4. Skylar is the most dramatic in probably every way possible. First of all, she is stuck to my mom like super glue and she follows her everywhere and if she can't really follow her because of a doggy door placed in between then she will cry. Separation anxiety much? At dinner time when everyone else is just as hungry as she is, she does this. <laughs> But the worst of all things that can happen to her is when she lightly bumps her foot while she's playing. Then she will limp and cry until every single person has given her uh, love and attention, you know, the oh my god what happened kind of attention and then she will forget about it. On the scale from 1 to drama, she is definitely 8. Among the young ones, Jamie is probably the most dramatic one, especially when you can't give her attention because you're working or studying or doing something which is more important. The interesting part is that this was exactly what her mom Bailey was doing in the exact same manner with the exact same voice. And Jamie started doing this long after Bailey passed away. Also, she will try to annoy the rest by holding a toy in her mouth and screaming in their ear. <laughs> And when she gets her butt beaten up, she will go to hide behind a human. Ten minutes later, she will go to annoy them again. On the drama scale, I would say that would be around six. Ivy is a pretty careless whippet. The only dramatic time for her is when she gets her nails trimmed. She hates it. She even hates having her toes touched. Or when you will refuse to feed her because she just ate like five minutes ago and she will cry for kibble sometimes around 12 a.m., 1 a.m., something like that and obviously we're not going to feed her then but she still has some nights when she will try us out.
but generally she is very stable and that's why she is very easy to work with because she has more time to focus on work and less time to think about drama. On the scale from 1 to drama she is around 3. Ruby honestly is a warrior of a dog if there is one whippet here that on theory would survive without human help in dire times that would be her. But I just have to mention that nail trimming is something that she definitely doesn't enjoy and sometimes when you give her affection she will act dramatic probably to get even more affection. But one morning, I believe it was around a year ago, she really gave us a heart attack. She was acting very strange, clearly in some sort of serious discomfort. She was hunched up, she was shaking, wouldn't take any food or delicious treats. I was calling the vet, but the line was busy and then she just threw up and it was some stomach juice and grass. And that was it. She was back to normal, she was playing, she was eating, she was wagging her tail, jumping around like nothing ever happened. Apparently she was feeling a little bit sick and so she panicked and then we panicked. I would say on the drama scale she is around 4. The boys are least dramatic, Brady is a full-time happy-go-lucky and especially after he was neutered a year ago he is now 100% careless. The thing he dislikes is nail trimming but other than that he has chosen a drama-free lifestyle. 2 on the drama scale. Cooper on the other hand is special because he can get offended by just about anything since he has a very complicated personality. If I call everyone to hand out treats he will run away and we can't figure out why. He was born in this house and he has been raised and loved like everyone else. I have never done him wrong so go figure. But when we start trimming everyone's nails, he will voluntarily stand there to be the first in line. I have no explanation. When he picks a bed to sleep in, he will turn and dig and turn and dig and turn and dig and sometimes even whine because I guess the process is very frustrating to him and this will go on for a few minutes until he finally lies down. I would say this is around 6 on the drum scale. Sometimes all of them can overreact about incidental things in certain situations when it's not really expected, but those are the examples that I can give you where there is a serious pattern in all of our whippets. And this is to also give you an idea that not every single whippet will overreact. I've explained before that girls are generally more dramatic than boys, yet you can find yourself with a very careless whippet of any gender, but still you can end up with a very dramatic whippet that doesn't hesitate to show you how much they hate the way that you placed your feeding bowl this morning or that you covered them with the wrong blanket. Just be prepared for anything and don't be too surprised. I hope this video was interesting, entertaining and helpful in some way. Next week we're going to talk about why the Whippet might not be the right breed for you. Have a great weekend and a lovely week afterwards and I will see you next time with a new video. Bye bye!